This is what I call Boomba Boomba. Absolutely super tasty. Welcome to another session with your war chef. And today, you know, we are going to make a recipe. First, I should tell, taste of the land is superior to the original recipe. What I mean to say is a traditional recipe travels all over. Every distance it goes, it takes the taste of the land. So the recipe is slightly altered for the people who have a traditional taste in that area. So here I'm bringing paneer matter, which is of course very popular all over North India. I'm going to add some potatoes to this and I'm going to South Indianize this recipe. We love coconut and poppy seed, but nowadays people are uh, going towards more of cashew nut paste and things like that. Let me go in and make this recipe. For this, add some oil in a pan. Okay, because we want to slightly brown the onions. The first thing is, make sure that the mustard seed splatters. Yes, mustards, because as I told you, the taste of land is superior to the original recipe. So, after the mustard slightly crackle, that's when the aroma comes out, add cumin seeds. And in this, we're going to add finely chopped onion. And of course, I'm going to add curry leaves also. There are two ways you can add curry leaf, you know, into the oil or once the onions are frying because I'm going to brown them. So I'm going to tear this uh, curry leaf and just add to this. Add salt, brown the onions. The color brown gives the superior taste. You know, chocolate brown, brown boys, always tasty. So once the onions are slightly brown, we're going to add ginger garlic paste wow some green chilies now add a little bit of turmeric okay mix all of this and let it cook for another two minutes in this we're going to add you know pinch of garam masala chili powder coriander powder now even these spices you can slowly cook and here is the south indian effect the poppy seed and dry coconut Put in a blender and make it into a paste. We make poppy seed and coconut powder and put it in our shells. In a lot of vegetarian recipes, we just top it up. But you can also make paste, you know. Look at it. Once you add the coconut and poppy seed paste, you cook it on a slow flame till some oil comes out. The rawness of the coconut should be gone. So, slow flame for another 2-3 minutes. When you see some of the oil coming out, that is an indication that the Masala is perfectly cooked. Now add some uh, tomato puree, add water. See, we have added all the masalas, whatever that needs to go in this. Now, all we need to do is make the gravy. Put the lid on and uh, let it boil. Let it boil for some time so that the gravy get a nice taste. In the hotel, in the big handies, we let it simmer for an hour, but at home at least. You know, 10 minutes will give you the best taste. Now, this is a base gravy. If you make it with uh, fresh coconut, it becomes another kind of gravy. You can add so many other ingredients and change this gravy, but each of these gravies will be totally South Indian flavors. But now, the gravy has been boiling for some time and it got the consistency. Here, the other ingredients like green peas, potatoes, uh, everything is boiled. So, add the green peas. Now, then the potatoes, this will take at least 2-3 uh, minutes for the salt and the other thing to be observed. So, nicely done. Okay, when you add the paneer, you have to stop the cooking. So, the gravy is nice, perfect and I am just going to add the paneer also. The whole idea is to give the vegetarians good protein and uh, nothing as good as paneer. So, mix all of this and don't let it cook, just let it simmer. Another two minutes and switch off the flame. This make sure you ah there is a little bit of sarna, so I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar. Sugar should be so little that no one should be able to make out that you added sugar. That is just to adjust the sarness and the spiciness, and it's going to be super tasty. Perfect. This can be eaten with uh, puri, with uh, chapati with anything you know even with rice and other things this is good but the kids will just love it kids love potatoes and paneer and of course 
the little little balls of green peas. Whenever I'm eating, I play the game. I take a piece of paneer and mutter. Then I say, oh, paneer mutter is so awesome. Mm. My God. The second curry is alu mutter. My God, alu mutter, we all love it. But what I have done is the little magic of South Indian flavors into this. Mm. Mm. Just too good. Make it exactly the way I've done and you will just enjoy this. This is what I call Boomba Boomba. Absolutely super tasty. I'm just going to eat it with puri I suppose.